Hello everyone, welcome back to day 14 of the Lambing Vlogs. We started today with a cracking pair of twins which have literally just been born and she didn't need any assistance to, at all. So that's a great start to the day of what hopefully is a busier day than the last couple. The only thing is, we've had a windy day, then yesterday we had a wet day and today it's everything together. So hopefully the weather calms down this afternoon and we can crack on and get some stuff all moved about. If you do enjoy it today guys, please tap that like button. And you want to see more stuff like this, please subscribe to the channel as I've got another week of vlogs to come. If you are enjoying them and have any comments about anything that I'm doing, please comment or any suggestions that you may have. Hope you enjoy it today guys. Cheers. It's as though my wishes have come to avail. We have another ewe already lambing. So if you look over here, this homebred ewe, her back has come out just down there and that is a sign that she has started lambing. So in not too long at all, there will be a lamb on its way. We have been bedding this shed up and whilst we've been doing that, we just spotted that. And hopefully there'll be a couple more too today. The wind has calmed down a bit, the rain's disappeared, so touch wood, Today is going to be a better day. We'll just have to see how we get on. But first of all, we're going to carry on watching this you get a few more of the jobs done, and we'll see how the lambs get on. Right, so bedding up, check. Feeding the little lambs, check. You to have lambed, not check. So it's been an hour basically since she started lambing. I left her for 45 minutes longer, just while I did that bedding up and stuff. Still not lambs, so what we're going to do now I'm going to have a feel and we're basically probably going to end up lambing her. So we'll get her over and see what she has inside. Let's see how you're getting on, girl. Oh, we have a leg. Oh, you're fairly tight. We have another leg. Calm, girl. Get over. Calm, girl. Calm, girl. And the head. I think she's just fairly tight, to be fair. As... Oh, and it's a decent sized lamb too, so normally, so, and she's a shearling. So when we say she's a shearling, guys, this means that this will be her first lambs. So more than likely, she'll be a lot tighter than some of the older ewes, as they tend to have more lambs. Calm, girl. As they tend to have more lambs, they tend to get a bit looser when they lamb, so it's easier to lamb. So their first set of lambs is usually the hardest. A lot of these do it themselves, to be fair. Come on, girl. Oh, the lamby just pulled its leg back. That's not, oh, can you see, it's kicking. What? The little tiger. Come on, lamby, you want to come into the nice, dry world away from the wet? Or not? It keeps pulling back and back. It is very tight, I'm not going to lie. Lammy, come on, mate. Right. I'm sending for backup. I am sending for backup. Ellie is on a driving lesson, so we're gonna get soap. Hello, sweetie pie. Um, please may you come and give me a hand because Ellie's on a driving lesson and um, I'm struggling to hold this shoe while lamming it. Well, no, anyone that can just lie on the sheep, I can lamb it. Okay, thank you. Bye bye, love you, bye. Right, so so sending the mum as she can't leave because she's doing a payroll for work and it needs to be sent off ASAP. So Deborah's on the way. Right guys, so at this point, I have no idea why, but the camera decided that it didn't want to record sound. So I'm just gonna talk you through exactly what happened here. So as you can see, Deborah so mum came and gave me a hand. As we got into this, guys, it came apparent that there was a reason why none of these lambs would come out. And that is because both of them decided they wanted to come out at the same time. And when you're lambing sheep, this is actually impossible. You can definitely not lamb two at the same time. So what I was trying to do here is just push one of the lambs back to allow me to lamb the other one. And one of the main problems was figuring out which lamb was which. So... At this point, there was three legs and two heads. 
And what I did, I pushed two of the legs back of the lamb I could feel, which allowed me to straighten up the other lamb, which had a leg back, and then I managed to get it out. But that wasn't it, guys. We got the first lamb out, and then it got to the hard part, because this second lamb was huge. And unfortunately, for some reason, again, the camera cut out. But as you can see here, I was struggling to get him out. But eventually, after a lot of patience, we got him out, and he was all safe and sound. Man, that was a hard lambing. I've just got to say a massive thank you to Deborah Sosman for coming and giving me a hand because no one else was free. And also, I need to apologise because for some reason, the volume was not working on the video and it cut out at one point randomly. But we have got two live lambs, as you can probably see. We've got a huge top lamb and a smaller ewe lamb. So the smaller ewe lamb at the start was fairly hard to get out and that is because they were both coming out at the same time so we had the little one was going over the top of the big one and there was three legs present um, one of the legs was back on the little one so what I managed to do was push the big one backwards and managed to pull the other one over the top flick its leg forward and get it out and this means we've got two lovely lambs so happy about that I'm just a bit gutted that we have no volume and not all the footage but end of the day the most important thing is we've got two live lambs so that is brill and what we're going to do now is leave the mum to it because I think I'm getting in the way a little bit. So guys, what I've quickly done there is leave that you just to settle with our lambs. And unfortunately, we're going from some really good news to some really bad news. So as you can see in here, we've got two lambs. And you may recognise these lambs because about five days ago, I was going to say weeks ago, one of these lambs was born a little bit deformed. The one over there was adopted onto us, so she's a single you. And this is the lamb that she had. And if you remember, this is the lamb that we have put the brace on its leg. So that brace on its leg to try and attempt to strengthen its leg up and make it a little bit stronger. So as you can see there, the lamb is really struggling to walk. It's five days old, has been suckling all right, but we're just really struggling to get the lamb to walk. We've tried things like when trying to move its joints to try and strengthen it up and basically the problem is it keeps walking on the knuckle of its leg or its foot which whichever way you call it and i think today i'm just coming to the terms that fortunately we're gonna have to put this guy down which is heartbreaking because really really nice slam but it's not fair on him to keep him any longer because he just won't be able to walk and he'll struggle and eventually he'll die on his own accord but in a much poorer not fair way so as you can see there he just he just can't walk and if he can it's, it's just muscles in his legs are deformed so it's not fair so this is where the brutality of farming kind of gets real guys unfortunately yes he's gonna have to be put down but we're gonna try something trying to get something positive out of this we're gonna get a triplet and when he's been put down, we're going to put his skin onto that triplet and try and adopt it onto the mum because at the end of the day, if you get something positive out of the situation, it's better than just losing the lamb. So I think that's what the plan's going to be. It's going to be put down and we're going to try and adopt another lamb onto her. I know it sounds horrible, guys, but at the end of the day, this is farming and this is the best for this guy. So that's what we're going to do this afternoon so guys what i've just done is horrible and not very nice so i just didn't record it well i was never going to record that but we've got the you down here that is the one with the two so she is now in the adopter as we're going to try and put a new lamb on her this is the triplets lamb down here so that lamb there is the one we adopted on and this is the original one that was wet adopted on too so this you here, I remember now, I said a bit wrong earlier, she had a stillborn lamb, so we adopted one onto her very quickly, and obviously with what's happened it's not ideal, so she's now got two adopted lambs onto her, but she's a really, really kind mum, and she should take to them quite nicely. Out of the madhouse, which is the shed, and into some more peace and quiet, because we're going to go and check up on those lambs and get them moved down to the crash area too. So. By what I know, they should be A-OK. -okay. They've both been up suckling while I've been doing all that, so really great signs. You can see over there, I don't know if you can see from a distance, they're up and suckling, so we'll get them moved somewhere a bit nicer, and then she can really bond with them. Go 
on then, Juice. Walkies. Come on. Come on, Juice. Time for a walk. Good, Juice. Whoop. Time to shoot Righto, so that is that you and Lambs all moved over and we're just giving Josie a little bit of a walk and she's found a stick already. Well, what I wanted to do is just walk before it went dark because I always try and give her a walk. Well, I always do give her a walk or Soph gives her a walk every day. It's not fair not to, but it's also nice to get five minutes away from the lambing shed doing something a little bit different. Also, need to keep an eye on her. Come on, Joyce. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah, guys, and... It's given me time to think about earlier and just to say a little bit about what happened earlier. Sometimes in farming, cruelty is the best form of kindness. We could have let that lamb suffer and we could have tried harder and harder, but at the end of the day, it wasn't fair on the lamb to let it suffer. And to point out of its misery is sometimes the best form of kindness. So yeah, a lot of people will understand completely where I'm coming from with that. and. It's just the best thing for the animal. And for me, I love the animals. I do my best to care for them. And sometimes doing something like that is the best thing for them. And unfortunately, that is just farming, guys. And also, it's just lovely to see on the other side, all of the lambs doing so well in that crash area, all the mothering up pens and all the ewes working hard, milking for those lambs. So on the opposite side, things are on the up. Sometimes you have to do bad things in farming, guys, and that is it. Josie, here, here, here. Good girl, good girl. Here, here, here. Stay. Sit, sit. Good girl. Off you go. So we're back from the dog walk. First things first, we checked up on the lambs. So these are the two lambs, the huge one and the normal size one, that me and So's mum, Deborah, lambs. So that is those here. The ones having a suck on the mum there. They're looking really well. And to update you on the mum that's in the adopter, she's here. Both the lambs look full. All right, Lammy. And there's the other one back there. That's the one we adopted on. They're looking well. And apart from that, obviously the one that landed earlier, that's all okay too. And I'll give you another update on the Mastitic U. So I know I give you a little update every day, but we haven't had to feed these lambs for two days now. So that's a great sign. Both in here, you can see down there, full stomachs. And if you get all girly, you can see her bag is a lot better, which is a great sign down there. So what more can you want than a U that's recovered from mastitis and milking properly? touch wood great sign so what we're gonna do now we've got about 10 ewes to tag and tail ellie's been off on the driving lesson this afternoon so i waited till she got back because she wants to get involved in tagging and tailing don't you yeah so we're gonna do that now pop them into the crash and as i said before that'll basically make the crash fall ear tag number zero one zero three yeah. six three five one six six four three well we just had a little bit of a pause in action there because these went missing which are the applicators to put the rings on and that is because we had no idea where they went so what do we do we go back to the old youtube videos find the last one that was tailed went back to that pen and they were just outside that pen how lucky is that well i'll just put it this way if i didn't film these videos i would not have found these tonight Right guys, so that is the final job of the day done. They're all tag tailed and numbered. We're gonna get those moved into the big pen so that Ellie has some space for pens tomorrow. So tomorrow guys, I am actually not here because I'm off to the NFU conference in Birmingham. I've been kindly invited from Litchfield NFU. I'm pretty sure it's Litchfield. They're based at Burntwood anyway, so kindly invited by them to go on tomorrow. So it should be a really interesting day and one I can't really refuse, even though it's lambing time. It's fairly chilled, so I'm really sure Ellie will be able to cope because you've all seen Ellie through the videos. She's well and more than capable of managing the lambing shed. There is approximately 45 left now, so 
hopefully they don't all lamb at once tomorrow but at least by doing this she's got 10 free pens she's gonna muck them out in the morning and hopefully she has a steady day but yeah i'll get these views all pushed out and then we're done That is them um, all moved. Apologies because of the racket, they're trying to find each other. But as you can see, plenty of free pens now for Ellie to muck out. So like, tomorrow we pop up to the top shed, see if anything's slamming. If it's not, that's just done for today, guys. Final check of the day, and we're not quite finished yet, boys and girls. We have got another twin lambing. So if you look down here, water bag is out. I think it's basically just started. So if you see there, that's the water bag just come out so we'll leave her to it come back down make sure she's all lambed and all okay so we'll leave her to it come back down a little bit then we'll finish off there guess who's back back again we have a sheep and it's not lambed well what we'll do we've been waiting like an hour still no lamb though well i can see it's head or feet or some like that sticking out so what we'll do get her over get the lamb out then I'm going for tea. Girl, calm girl, calm girl. So we have two legs and the head. This isn't a shearling like the one earlier. We'll send that, we've got one leg. Yeah, we do have two legs. Good girl. No, that's a head. Where's the other leg? There, it's back there. There we are, there we are. One leg. Good girl, good girl. Two legs. Come on baby, pop it there. Good girl, good girl, there you go. Good girl. Right, see where the second is then. Is it a leg? Good girl, good girl. I think we have a head, that's a head. We have a leg, we have a puller. We've got another puller. Good girl, good girl, good girl. Good girl, two legs and a head. Good girl, good girl, one, two. Girl, my girl. One last push. Good girl. One last push. Good girl. And it's out there. Good girl. Right, guys, so that's her all lamb now. They were fairly easy to lamb, I'm not going to lie. I just don't know why she was taking her time so much to get them out. But I'd rather be safe than sorry. So both of them out. Head shook. What a great sign that is when the head shakes. But that's us done for today guys i really hope you enjoyed the video it's a great way to end the video so i like doing this finishing it with a nice successful lambing so thank you again if you did enjoy the video please tap that like button you will see more stuff just like this tomorrow but tomorrow's video is going to be a special one because it is led by ellie as i'm always as said earlier so if you want to see that subscribe to the channel and it should come up in your notifications tomorrow massive thank you again and i hope you enjoyed it Cheers guys.